This presentation is brought to you by BrainCore Therapy. There are many people researching neurofeedback for ADHD as an alternative treatment to medication. So what is the science behind neurofeedback? And it, is it a proven treatment method for ADHD? If you've been diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactive disorder, you already know how difficult this condition can be to live with. It causes trouble focusing on personal relationships, professional success, and even on smaller day-to-day -day concerns, such as normal conversations and everyday chores and tasks. To add insult to injury, the disease is widely mocked and misunderstood by people all over the world. For most sufferers of ADHD, doctors prescribe powerful stimulants with a host of unwanted side effects. These side effects include a loss of appetite, sleeplessness, unwanted weight loss, and elevated levels of stress and anxiety. That is why more and more people are turning to a non-invasive alternative therapy, known as neurofeedback, and has shown promising results in managing the symptoms of ADHD. But many people still have a lot of questions. How well does neurofeedback work? Is it safe? And is neurofeedback for ADHD a scientifically proven management method? For many people, neurofeedback therapy is equally as effective as 30 milligrams of Ritalin a day without any of the side effects. That makes it perfectly safe for children with ADHD, and there are several scientific studies to back its effectiveness. Here's two articles you can read for yourself. The first one, Efficacy of Neurofeedback Treatment in ADHD. The Clinical EEG and Neuroscience Journal found that neurofeedback for ADHD could be classified as efficacious and specific, the highest classification for investigational treatments, which is a classification only given to therapies scientifically proven to be superior to other forms in two independent research settings. The other being neurofeedback training for ADHD. This study came out of the University of Tennessee, and what they said was the results support and extend previous published findings indicating that neurofeedback training is an appropriate and efficacious adjunctive treatment for ADHD. Neurofeedback is not a new technology. In fact, doctors have been using the EEG, which is a primary machine used for neurofeedback for over a century now. But its application is relatively new, and it's still undergoing multiple scientific studies. As you know, science is an ongoing process, and there are still many, many questions to ask about the efficacy of neurofeedback for ADHD. However, in the studies performed since the treatment became available in the mid-70s, neurofeedback continues to cross hurdle after hurdle in scientifically proving that it is a viable alternative for managing ADD and other disorders of the executive function of the brain. This includes anxiety, headaches, autism spectrum disorders, and a wide array of neurological disorders. If you have a current ADHD diagnosis and you're concerned about the adverse effects that come along with the stimulants and other medications, ask your doctor about neurofeedback for ADHD. For more information or to schedule a consultation, please visit our website at www.braincourttherapy.com.